Kale, Tom Weller here from ForexReviews.info. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make really good profits using Fibonacci, the, the Fibonacci retracement tools. The first thing I wanted to say was, um, you know, is with Fibonacci, it's such a common tool, yet in, in Forex, yet a lot of people use wrong. And so, this video is about setting, you know, setting that right. I just want to, I want to show you a way you can use it to trade, and you can use it to trade regularly, and you can use it to make profit as well in the forex market. So to begin with, what I like to do is I like to jump over to, I'm just going to go to most people's favorite pair, which is the Euro US, and I'm going to show you examples of Fibonacci in play. Um, if you want to see other examples on other charts, I'm going to do that in future videos, but for right now, I'm just going to show you on the Euro US, show you how it works, how you can quickly use it to make profit once you identify such elements as trends, or you identify such elements as possibly even reversals as well. So what we're going to do now is I'm just I'm just jumped over the H4, as you can see on the chart. And what I like to do is I just quickly like to jump over to the daily chart. Okay, so as you can see, the Euro US has been in a quite a strong downtrend ever since we hit the 136 mark. So I'll mark that in as a resistance. So if price comes back up here, this is an area where most likely the price will drop again. So we like to mark in. And the reason I use dotted lines for these support and resistance areas is because basically they can be broken. But these are high probability areas where the market will tend to, you know, um, move to and fro. Support and resistance is a very powerful tool, especially if it's the major supports and resistances. So that's what I'm doing now. I'll just draw them on the daily charts. And I'm, like I said, I'm not going to draw, like I've said many times in previous videos, I'm not going to draw all the major zones. I'm just going to, all the major support and resistance. I'm just going to draw the ones that I see as the most powerful in the Forex market at the moment. So, and I'll just draw this one as the last one, which is around 128.90. And as a final destination, from what we can see on the chart here, the daily is at 126, you know, around 126.90 area. Okay, so now I'll jump over to the H4, and I'll show you how to identify Fibonacci. Okay, so first of all, identify a drop down. So when you identify a drop down, on price is basically when the price has been meandering up like it's such a strong steam head with um, Euro US. What you want to what you want to do is once it starts to fall, okay, you you don't want to just jump in straight away. That's what a lot of traders will do. They'll jump in early, and um, it could just be a mild retracement. You, you never know. However, Fibonacci gives some really really good clues and allows you to get into the trend pretty much straight away so you can make mass amounts of profit once you confirm it is a downtrend. Now if you've watched my previous videos on trend analysis, the way I see it is once you've got um, one lower low, okay, which is defined by here, okay, this is one lower low, okay, that's when you start to take notice, right? Hold a sec, guys. This is a new chart, so I've just got to change this, tick off the ray, so I can have the. Okay. Once you have two lower lows identified, right? As I mentioned before in the past, in my past videos, once you have two lower highs, two lower lows, you're in a downtrend. Okay. So what you want to do is once you've got two lower lows is that's when you want to pull out your Fibonacci tool. No reason to get too excited here yet. You just, you're pulling out your Fibonacci tool to understand, okay, this could be a downtrend. I'm not 100% sure, but Fibonacci is going to give me um, confluence and understanding that if this is downtrend, it's going to turn around behind a magic number, which I'm going to reveal to you right in a second. In fact, this is one of the, the biggest secrets to Forex when you're trading with Fibonacci. If you if you haven't used Fibonacci before, I highly recommend using it. I don't believe in any other in many other indicators, but because the Fibonacci works so well, you're going to see it in action right here. So first of all, 
I've identified the downtrend. Okay? Here. Okay, now we don't know if it's going to go any further. I mean, this could be a turnaround. This could have been a turnaround right here. However, the Fibonacci, like I said, gives us gives us clues. So what I do is I'll grab the Fib. Uh, this, like I said, this is a new chart, so the lines and everything, everything's a little bit out of colour. I'll just change this to... Hold on. Hold on. It's okay there. Change this yellow to... Well, what do we want our fib colour to be? Let's change it to a light blue, so it's not the same as the other blue. So there you go, you've got a nice fib there. Right? So what, what you're doing is, is you line up your previous high to your previous bottom. Now I've gotten this, I've gotten this around the wrong way, just because I've been, just as I turn it around like that. Okay, so this is the way you do it. Okay, so when it comes down to here and you say you're thinking it's starting to move up, you don't trade. You just ignore it. Because you've now got a confirmed downtrend, second lower bottom. What you want to do is look for this magical area, which I call the in-between the 50 to 61.8. And if you want to go through and look at other charts, you will see that it works on other charts as well. This isn't this isn't magic or hocus pocus, this is Fibonacci and it's used a lot by banks and traders. So now I insert a shape. And I use it a lot in trading. For taking profits if I realize I'm in the wrong side of the trend or selling into the trend once I've identified it. Now I like to have, when I put a box on the chart, I like to have it not much different to the background because I don't want it to take over the chart. I know that this is a possibility zone. So what I do is I, I will wait until it gets to this price. I will set an alarm in here between the 50 and 61.8. I'll set an alarm exactly in here. And then when price gets in there, right, I don't trade it either. When a price gets in there, I actually wait for a break below that area to enter the downtrend. So as an example with this one, I would enter a cell, and I'll make these a different color. Let's make it red for, for because it, it is a sell trade, so it'll make an easy one to identify. I sell here. Why there? Well, because it's broken below the 61 to 50, 50 retracement area, and it's broken below this bull, this um, bearish pin bar candle. Okay. And you know how you manage this trade is you'll just lock in along the way. So now we can get rid of that Fibonacci and you can see that that worked out perfectly. So now we'll go to the next one. It comes down here, we start getting some bullish action, we take profit on this one. Okay, and we, we actually set the Fib up again. So this is the high, see from that pin there. And this is the lowest low right here, okay. So we insert a shape again between the 50 and 61.8. And you see how that works, guys? See how traders are using it? So this is confirming it's a downtrend again as well, but you're not 100% sure, so you wait until it goes between the 50 to 61.8 and then break below. Plus, you're also waiting for confirmation of a break below by buying, by selling, sorry, selling below this area. Okay, so that's basically where you sell. You put your stop loss just above where the fib, just above where the where where it actually went to. So basically here on this one, and you put your stop. <clears throat> you just want to put your stop where you know you'd be wrong. You're trend trading here, 
it doesn't matter where price is. If your trend, if, if, if the trend is being respected, you can, you can keep doing this over and over again until eventually you're stopped out. And most likely when you're stopped out is when, you, when, is when the reversal starts to happen and you'll be looking for the other way around. So there's two examples there. Okay. Let's move to the next four. So you sell here. Once you see some bullish action, as it breaks down, of course you lock in along the way, guys. Don't just trade down. Lock in at break even once it gets past 50, 60 pips, and then keep going down. You know, or you can lock in. Or what I like to do is, if it is a good strong downtrend, I'll actually wait until it gets past around 100 pips. Right. So it broke. Wait until it breaks below this support zone here. See how this was a support here? So you don't know it could bounce here. So you wait until it breaks below that. And then once it's broken below that, you put your stop loss right here, guys. Right into that. Because you know that if price flicks back up, it will hit the bottom. It won't take your stop out. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble with putting this line. Anyway, you guys get my point there. So basically, you'll be locking in about 58 pips once it gets down to about here and it's broken through. And even if it flicks back, it tends to just hit the bottom of these these bottoms and your 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 trade will most likely still be in the game. Then when you get start getting some of these green candles down here and you're starting to see movement up, you just take profit. So, somewhere around here, you could have gotten 170 pips there. Now I didn't get in on these ones, I got in on this one, okay, so I should have been paying attention, but you know, that happens in Forex sometimes, sometimes you're just not at the charts and, you know, you can't always pay attention all the time, you set your alarm, sometimes you're out of the room still even when the alarms go off, you know, I need to be at my computer, you know, it's not a bad thing to miss a trade, these things happen open, these Fibonacci's and these um, trend tactics happen over and over again. So until the market changes direction, when it changes direction, it just does it the other way. You know, you just use the fib on the other way to get in. And by the way, you might be wondering why I'm on the H4 chart. This works on the daily chart as well. However, on the H4, I like it because you can see the swings a little bit better. So with fib, I like to I'd like to be able to see the candles a little bit better and, and the movements up. On the daily, you might just see one candle moving up. You, you can't really you're trying to work out where the fib goes. It can be a bit difficult. But the H4 seems to be perfect. I wouldn't do it on the one hour. The one hour is just a little bit too low and a little bit too tight. You can use it, but you're just going to find it's not going to be as successful. The four hour with the, the 50 to 61.8 retracement works brilliantly. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll line up this one now. And what you're doing is for the low, looking for the lowest point. Okay, so you've taken profit in here somewhere and you're like, okay, well, if it retraces here, I am not interested in looking at if it just keeps going straight down. I'm just interested if it retraces up to the 50 to the 60, 1.8. And if it doesn't get there, guys, don't worry about it. But if it does, that's where you want to take notice because the market generally sells off really well after that, as you can see here. So we've had, this is the third one in a row. I got in on this one. And so I'll we can delete that now. So we know that's the 50, 50 to 61.8 retracement mark. It's still a downtrend. So you want to sell into that. So what I did is I just wait until it breaks below. Right here. I let it do its little up play around there. Because if I wait until the price goes below here. It doesn't have to be a close or anything like that. Um... <laughs> This is a different trading strategy to just price action strategy, but it is still price action as you can see, guys. So it's coming to this zone, the 61.8, right? And if it comes up and goes beyond here and starts closing candles up here, it's okay. It means it's most likely going into an uptrend. Now, when it goes into an uptrend, you just, you're not interested, you're not going to sell in this gray zone, okay? You need the market to tell you that it's going below. And when it goes below, and by the way, you can just place your orders here, guys. Once it gets, the alarm gets in here, you can just place your order here, just below, out of the 50% retracement. And, you know, if it comes up and hits it, you know, it's going to happen sometime. 
just take a loss, it's alright. So, with this one, if, if you're 100% confident, I mean, you can put more um, support, you can put more uh, stop loss on it like that, which would mean it'd have to break through this previous range here, as you can see here. That's up to you. What's your risk level? Mine would be around here. Um, but it also depends on the market as well. Um, right, so let's just play this for a second, alright? So, like I said, if you want to risk more, it's okay. If you're uh, a trader that likes to just not use stops much at all, which is completely fine, you guys are still successful in Forex, I know that. You can just hold and hold and hold, and the market will eventually come back to that price in general. So, so basically, this one here, so this one went down 220 pips, and that was just a free fall. And if you watch my previous video on pattern recognition, I've got a video on patterns. You should really go back and watch that if you haven't watched it, because in my patterns video, I talk about after the second and third time that a market prints a lower high or lower low, it's when the market will crash heavily. Then after that, it usually corrects itself and starts to go back up. There's usually three or four lower lows, and then the market will go back up after that. Not always, but in general. Okay, so it'll go back up to a previous high. So that will, I'm sort of expecting now that we've had three or four here on the Euro US, that it'll probably go back up to 133, or maybe even one, possibly 133, probably, possibly around this level. And then it might go either back down into the downtrend, which is what I'd be waiting for, or it will, it will actually go into an uptrend. But you, but I can, in a future video, I'll show you that guys when the trends change. It's the same, you're looking for two higher highs. Okay, I'm not going to go over that in this video, so I'm just showing you Fibonacci's. So, when, now, okay, now we're going down to another one. So let's, let's put another Fib. That's the high there. You draw your fib down to the lowest point here. I mean, you could have gotten out here. It doesn't matter. You're only interested once it gets up to the 50 to 61, 61.8. Now, this one didn't get up to the 50 to 61.8. However, it got pretty close. So, you can trade this between... You can actually trade this between the 30, 38.2... And the 50, if you like, that's up to you. I just find that when it gets up to the 50 to 61.8, it sells off really, really good. Um, however, you know, you can do what you want. If it doesn't, you know, to me, sometimes that's, sometimes when this happens and I'll see it fall here and then it gets below the, the 38.2, I'll, I'll enter a sell because I'm like, well, the market is falling at, it's close to 50. I mean, in reality, it's basically close enough. I mean, let's have a look at this. Five pips away. Five pips away from when, you know, if you want to just put your alarms and see you've got this confluence here too of this previous support area. So you have two different confluences. You're seeing a fall here. You see it's falling. It nearly got to the 50. And so when it gets below the 38.2, you actually sell into that at that level. So, 50 to 61.8 is awesome level, but if you've got other confluences and it falls around just below the 50 and you are able to see it, you are watching the market, if you're those sort of, one of those sort of people that are watching the market all the time, and you're, you know, you, you set your alarm a little bit early, it did, went, it did go off just around here, and, and then it started falling here, you just put your stop, like, stop loss here, which is below these pins and everything like that, or you can put your stop loss if you want to be a bit more safer, you put your stop loss there, which would mean it definitely would have to break higher to um, take you out. So, that's basically Fibonacci in a nutshell. The, 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 the key element here is, now, I just, before I go, I will show you on one more chart because, it you know, sometimes when you look at the market, it, it's easy to just think, okay, it's doing it on the Euro US, but maybe it's not doing it on other charts. 
So I'm just going to show you on another chart. Let me just pull one at random and let's see if there's a trend going on here. And if you find that the, that the market keeps turning at the 30, the 38 area, then that means it's just a stronger trend down. Okay. So let's just pull over the AED Jappy. Now I never trade the AED Jappy. I'm just, I'm just pulling it out for hearsay. I know that it trends quite well. So let's go back here to where it's trending, right? So this is an uptrend a little bit. So what you can do is you're seeing it fall here. So you place this here. Oop, I got it around the wrong way again. Okay, so that's like that. Right. And like I've mentioned before in the past, is you make waiting for that magical area, which is the 50 to 61.8. And see how it just the price came down and then bounced from this level? It's not just obvious that these areas are being respected. It's it constantly keeps getting respected over and over and over again. So with this one, you know, as it breaks up beyond the sixty-one point eight, you can buy. Now, if you guys want to go through all the charts, you'll see that what I'm saying about the sixty-one, the fifty of the sixty-one point eight is in many trades. It, you know, sometimes the trend's a little bit higher, so it's 38. I like the six, I like the, between the 50 and the 61.8. It seems to happen constantly over and over again in the Euro US in particular. It also depends on what currency pair you're trading. Now, we'll, we'll do, we'll do one more. Now, it's not going to happen every time, guys, and it's not going to be exact either, guys. So, see with this one here, how it went up to here, and then it fell down here. Now, that's okay. That's okay. That's still valid. Because you just insert your shape. This is your alarm area, in between the 50 and the 60. You see how all these candles are still connected to the 50 and 60, 1.8 area? And then it breaks up. You just enter here. Okay, you've identified an uptrend here, in these previous up moves, so you're looking for a, a retrace on the, the, to the 50 to 61.8, and then you're looking to buy as it breaks higher. That's just where you put your stop. You can also put your stop here if you just want to use tight stop. It's okay. If it comes back and hits it, that's going to happen sometimes. The further you put your stop, the more likely it's not going to come back and hit it, but at the same time, it means further risk. So you decide. It's up to you how you do your trading style. Each way is quite valid. So let's 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 move along now. That one worked out as well. Now this isn't my favourite pair. I don't. I mean, I don't like the Jappy pairs in particular. But it doesn't matter what pair it is. As you can see here, price moved up to here. It, it dropped down and actually went into close to the fifty percent retracement zone. But it didn't actually make it. And that's okay. That happens sometimes. That just means it's a stronger uptrend. Okay, so... Here we go. Here's another one, I'm sure. Got this one here. Right there. See that? Price moved up, moved down. It didn't go into the zone we wanted. You know, the zone we want. And then it did. Down here. Now you're always waiting for the market to go back in that direction, right? And then it started getting a bit choppy and stuff like that because we're actually at daily highs on that pair. Let's have a look at one more. Let's have a look at one more pair. Just a random pair. Again, let's pick up another pair and let's see if it's trending and then we can actually see if the fibs are being respected. Let's look at, okay, this is the GBP AUD. Okay, let's just have a look. Alright. So what is this first one in? It is a, it's it's a downtrend, right? It's meandering down. Okay, so let's just do this one quickly on the daily chart because it it looks really defined on the daily chart. Just for testing sake, and like I said, you can use it on the daily 
you can use it on the H4. Now see this, this sell off here, okay, the, the sellers took profit around here, but it was, they knew it was still a downtrend, so they wanted to jump back in. So where did they jump back in? Between the 60 and 61.8 and the 50 percent retracement area. So, and then, and then, then the, the price just keeps continuing on its way. Let's look at this previous one. Okay. Okay. So let's remove this one. We know that that one was confirmed. I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is one of the biggest secrets to the forex market. No, not many people are going to actually show you this trick. Okay, because they keep it to themselves. Okay, this is between the 50 and the 61.8. Bam. Price is moving down. They take profit. You take profit in around here. It's price moves back up. Oh, this is if you did sell here. That is, guys. If you didn't sell here, don't worry about it. Okay. You've noticed this is a downtrend here. You confirmed it by looking at the daily. And, you know, you can see it's the price is moving down. So you think to yourself, okay, well, if it's moved down this far, it's going to retrace. It retraces here. This is a major daily retracement. Boom. Sells off. If it breaks below the 50 to 61.8, you enter. You see this one? This is a bit different. See how you've got these two green and red candles? Want to enter on a close, on a, on, on level below that. That's my opinion. Just so you've got all prices out of the way. Just to stop it from, this is a bit of a support area. You see how price bounced here? So then you enter there on a close and you put your stop here. Okay. So that would have been a 135 risk. This is a daily chart one. Remember that. You can have up to 200 pips risk. It's quite fine. To a, if you got out on this, this green candle, this alert candle here, you would have gotten over 400 pips by the way. So 130 pips. To 400 pips profit. Does that sound good? I mean, you could have been deserted by this one here. I would have been. You've got this nice bullish pin bar here. And when it closed, you were at 245 pips. I mean, that probably would have been my exit as well. I would have been assuming that it's probably going to do this up, down, up, down. But, you know, if you did hold on, if you just put your, um, adjust your stop loss and just thought, hey man, I'm, I'm going to see if this really sells off. Well, you would have done really well. Over 400 pips. Okay, so that's my video on Fibonacci's. I hope you guys understand it. This is all about just identifying the trend. If it's downtrend, looking for a move once it starts to retrace between the 50 and 61.8 area as a general. If it gets a couple of pips away, it's still valid, guys. Um, but basically that zone is where you want to put your alarms. And once it gets into that zone, you want to see it close below in order to sell into it, into that trend. Now, in an uptrend, it's the opposite, of course. Okay, and I showed you that before on the AED Japanese. So, okay, yep, I don't have anything more to say on the Fibonacci. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, before you go, if you're interested in more really good videos, jump over to my site at forexreviews.info. Add your name and email. Get on my email list. I have many videos on tips and tricks how to make massive amounts of profit out of the Forex market. Forex doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be seen as random. There is a pattern in this in this business. So jump over to my site, add your name and email, and um, yeah, bookmark my site. Check it out, guys. The the URL is just you know on this video, um, just here. And like I said, subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And and another thing too is just before you leave, if you're watching this on YouTube, do us a favor, guys. Like the video below. Or send to a friend who might be interested in the same thing. Send to your forex friends. You know, if you're using, if you're active on a forum, add, add the link on a forum, share it with some other people, help other people see this Fibonacci retracement style if you think that they would benefit from it as well. And yeah, have a great rest of the day, guys. Okay, bye for now.